guys, Goddess Paints and Resins here. So today I am going to do a cute little octopus mold. So I already took my brush and I went ahead and I took my Lares pigment powders. And this one is Violet, Indigo, and Blue. It's the Chameleon. Let's see, it's going to focus here. Come on. Move my resin before I throw it on the floor. So, and then this is what it looks like. You can kind of see different colors in there. So, move that out of the way. So I went ahead and I already put it in here so you can kind of see. So my thought process, hopefully I don't fail on it, but if we do, we do, is I did the chameleon with the brush. I saved some time for you guys, so I literally just dipped it in and then I went around and did it just like that. Got all up on the sides instead of all the little nibs. Sorry if you hear my dogs, I'm in the kitchen today instead of back in the bedroom. Um, so I went ahead and did that off camera to save some time. I did go ahead and mix my resin. Uh, it, I know this is a lot for right this second, but I have a couple more things that I need to do. So um, my thought process on this one is I'm gonna go ahead and do just one layer and then I'm gonna come back and I'll do a darker layer tomorrow after this cures. So my resin today is from the Epoxy Resin Store and it is the Clear Epoxy Resin Premium Quality. So this stuff is super awesome. I love it. And it is not expensive. So I've tried expensive ones, cheap ones. That one seems like for what I get, I think that's the two gallon one. And I think I paid like 90 bucks. Um, US obviously um, which isn't bad because like the unicone ones are pretty expensive I didn't really care for those um, it just kind of depends on what you like um, so anyway like I said this is all done I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this first part's gonna be probably kind of boring because like I said I wanted to save you guys some time it took me about 30 minutes to make sure that all this was covered because I have OCD so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some clear um, resin in here and then after it cures we'll go ahead and I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is, sorry for my reach, the Lares Black Sapphire and then I don't know, I'm not really sure yet, it's like a blue black, like a gray maybe, I'm not sure if I want to tell you what I'm thinking yet or not, it depends on how this first layer comes out. And um, so let's get started. There's a lot of different layers to this mold. And I just poured a bunch of it off the side. I might not be able to do different layers. I might have overfilled this uh, cup a little bit too much because it is not really liking me right now. Look, see, look at all that. It just came down the side. Okay. Let me change plans here before I make a gigantic mess. All right. So put it in a smaller cup so I can have a little bit more control over it. I'm not really sure if this is going to work out the way that I was hoping because there's so many different levels, I guess you could say, to this. So I don't know if I can do a darker layer in resin anyway. 
I know Miss Julie from Pouring Your Heart Out. She's awesome. If you guys haven't seen her, go watch her. It was funny because I bought this mold and I was trying to figure out when I was going to have time to do it. And I was super excited. And then she made her own mold and started doing an octopus. So great vines, right? But anyway, she actually will spray paint the backs if she needed to, if she wanted that darker color pigment on the back. So I'm just looking to see, so like this leg right here doesn't have any, but this is almost full. So it's kind of one of those things. I might not be able to do what I was thinking because I'm pretty sure I put some resin in here. I could be wrong. I actually missed this leg earlier when uh, I was putting the chameleon powder in there. Just decided that leg didn't get any, I guess. So I had to go back and double check and move everything around to make sure everything had something in it. This mold's pretty deep, but it's not deep at all, if that makes any sense. So like if you look in the front, it looks like it's really deep, but it's it's actually really shallow. So I'm just kind of looking to see if I have all my tentacles at least covered. So like they're covered, but the tops, so right here, there's no resin at all. So like there's some little tentacles that aren't covered that have the little suckers on them. And I guess that would be okay because then it's going to end up being just that black, sapphire black. And I think I spilled some over here somewhere. Sorry, I'm just trying to think if I'm going to put more in and just do a clear one or if I want to do a black background. And as you guys all know, because everybody hears it all the time, resin is self-leveling. So, if I overfill one spot, not too much, too big of a deal, because it will level itself. And self-leveling. So I left a little bit of space on the top. Some of the suckers still are not covered, but that's okay. So I have my little tiny torch. I got these on Amazon. I know a lot of people have a hard time finding these. I found this on Amazon. So you gotta be careful because the tentacle legs are really thin. Just kind of go through really quick and not burn your mold. You could also use 100% alcohol and just kind of give it a spritz and then that way it'll get rid of the bubbles as well. Um, do not use the alcohol and then the torch. I know that does happen. Don't do that. It's bad. So I'm just trying to think if I need to do anything else. Okay, so I'll go ahead and I will try to bring you guys in a little bit for a close-up on it wet. 
and then, not wet, but before it's cured, and then uh, you guys can see for yourself, and then hopefully tomorrow I didn't over pour it, and I'll have enough room for the black. Okay guys, so here is the octopus. You can see all those colors, and like I said, I didn't fill it up all the way, so there's that little gap. So I'm thinking that I'm going to do that black on there. I may or may not put some foil in it just to give it a little extra oomph, but I don't know yet. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do that yet or not. For right now, it's just going to be black. So I will see you tomorrow to do that. Bye. Hey guys, so it's the next day. It's actually two days later. So I went ahead and I took it out of the mold already. Um, and I did the black clear coat, like I was saying, I guess it's not a clear coat. I did the black coat on it. And what I used was Pitch Black by Techna Ruse. Let's see if it's gonna focus for me today. Because the other black, it was too transparent. So I didn't, uh, I didn't use that one. So it's all nice and dry. I did have a little overflow right in here. So what I did was I went ahead and I took my little nail cuticle clippers and I just kind of cut them out of the inside so that way I can get out all the little overflows. So here we go. One, two, three. So that actually came out pretty cool. I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. Um, I do wish that it was a little bit more 3D so the back wasn't so flat. So maybe I'll try to figure out a way to not dome it, but make it a little bit more 3D. So different angles, obviously you're gonna get that color shift. You can see some purples, some blues, a little bit of greens. The tentacles look pretty cool. Uh, let's see if I can find a tentacle to actually show you. Because they do, they wrap all the way around. So you got the inside and then obviously this one doesn't have a tentacle on it until you flip around this way because it's going to be flat. So I think the only thing that I would do differently next time is his little eyes. I'd probably do some black. I don't have a black pen. I do have a gold one and a silver one of the Krylon 18 karat gold leafing pen and then like I said I have a silver one as well. Um, I might just get some paint and tape painted in there so that way it's black. But here it is. I'll take some pictures so that way you guys can see outside so you can get all the different effects and all the different lighting and all that fun stuff so that way you can see. The only other thing that I would recommend is when you're brushing on your actual silicone mat if you look right here on his head you can kind of see like right here there's a line and then there's a line so you can kind of see like different lines from where the stroke was so maybe next time I'll mix it in with some clear so like right here you can see it a lot I'll mix it in with some clear and then pour it into the first coat with the clear instead of brushing it on and then pouring it on and then letting it cure and then doing the back but the black is pretty cool now it has all my fingerprints on it because it does have a little bit of glitter in it sorry i know you see all my fingerprints because i was just touching it um but it does have some glitter inside that pigment so i think i got that on amazon came in like a pack of 24 i think if i remember correctly so it was pretty cheap and that was when i first started i bought that so there she is let me know what you guys think. Please like and subscribe and share and all that fun stuff. And if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. All my information is down below so that way if you guys do want to see anything or have any questions, I'm here. Um, please go check out my website, goddesspaintsandresin.com. You can get a bunch of Lorez pigments there and pastes and all that fun stuff as well. And then eventually when I have some time, I'm going to take pictures of all the artwork and put it up there as well for sale. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.